Hey there. Thanks so much for taking the time for this demo and your busy schedule today. I'm so excited to show you how Affinity EHR um, will allow you to document an exam, e-prescribe, and really overall assist you in your everyday routine. Right off the bat, I can tell you that Affinity EHR gives you a ton of flexibility. You're going to be able to move around the exam room uh, with the iPad app, giving you personal face-to-face -face time with your patients and a better experience. As a cloud-based EHR, you won't need to worry about the manual software updates or server maintenance or regulatory compliance because we take care of all of that for you and more. Um, okay, well, let's dive into Affinity EHR and I'll show you some noteworthy features that I think will save you time and money. On the screen today, you see a few exams that I have scheduled in Affinity Practice Management. Um, today, we'll take a look at Natalie. She's gonna be our test patient um, today. And I can um, do a few things with her here on the screen. The staff can go ahead and tell me where she is in the process. And we can go ahead and say that she's checked in and she's in exam room three. We can also take a picture of Natalie with our iPad uh, so that you can utilize it for security purposes or even just to help you remember your patients um, before seeing them. Once we're ready to create an exam, I just tap on Natalie's picture and it will take me to the landing page um, of her chart. On the left hand side of the screen, we're going to see all the past medical, ocular, social, family history, medications, allergies, etc. On the right hand side, we're going to see all of her past visits. And at the bottom, we have additional information on like the ability to finalize exams, make amendments, prescription history, um, and also any attachments we want to attach to the record. And that can be scanned in on the desktop um, or we can utilize um, consent forms or forms that we, we preload here in the system for them to sign off um, right here on the iPad. Um, today, we're going to create a visit. Uh, and, uh, and we'll hop into one uh, really quickly and show you just a brief overview of charting on the iPad for an exam. This is the landing page for the visit. Uh, so when the patient is here, we're really going to focus on the first three boxes um, that you see on the top of your screen. You know, chief complaint, history of present illness, review of systems. Why is the patient here today and what is going on with them? The core vision exam, or, or most likely the, the pretest information, um, plus your refraction and contact lens fit, and then the core ocular exam, um, all of your diagnosing um, procedures and plans. So once those three are completed, the impressions and plans will auto-populate for us and billing and coding will auto-populate for us down at the bottom. The second um, line items that you see here um, in modular form are medical history, uh, sticky notes, visit attachments, and medications. The medical history is the same screen we saw in, in the previous uh, view. It's just here in the record, so you don't have to go back and forth. Sticky notes allow you to leave information about the patient, maybe things you need to remember them, um, remember about them, be here in sticky notes. Uh, the ability to attach anything here to the record that you would want to save in PDF form, and then the ability to, to e-prescribe medications. First, let's hop into chief complaint, history of present illness, and review of systems. So I want to show you a chief complaint today. Um, you may be doing this or your technician may be, uh, but it's pretty simple. We're just going to add a chief complaint. And then a list is going to populate that's custom to our practice. So these are the top complaints that we see here in our environment. So today the patient's coming in. We're going to see them for, um, for a red eye. So I'm going to tap on patient red eye. And then I'm going to tell the system where it's located. Today we'll say that it's in both eyes. So I'm going to tap on the right and the left eye and then go to my complaint details. The system's gonna ask me a few questions to build a really nice formal chief complaint. I don't have to answer all of them, uh, but, but the more you answer, the more um, comprehensive that um, complaint will be. So today we'll do a new presentation of a red eye. The quality today is irritated, new and painful. It is moderate in severity. And Natalie tells us it's been going on for the last three weeks. So we'll save that complaint. And now you can see that we have a nice chief complaint of a red eye and an HPI of a 39 year old female who's been seen for a chief complaint of the red eye involving the right and the left eye. It's irritated, new and painful, and it is moderate in severity. It's been going on for the last three weeks. Next, we can hop into the review of systems. The options are here for you to make your selections and however you do that in your practice. Now we'll take a look at the vision exam. With the vision exam, I often think about it uh, like the pretest. You see on the left-hand side of the screen um, several different sections for us to go into to notate 
pressure readings, our auto refraction, keratometry data, um, wearing RXs, and then of course your ability to do a contact lens uh, prescription or refraction, uh, and then more information down at the bottom for additional testing, um, like color vision testing, binocular testing, Amsler grid, et cetera. Um, so you're not gonna utilize these uh, sections for everyone, um, but I will say that the, the pressures, visual acuity, pupils, motility, and visual fields are the quote unquote required fields uh, to help you maximize your insurance reimbursement. So for today, if we were to add a new pressure reading, uh, we can click on add new IOP. It's going to remember the way we like to obtain that um, measurement. And then with the drop downs, we can just make our selection for the test today and even notate the reliability. Now, if you have uh, the ability to connect your auto refractor, um, your keratometer, your NCT, if you'd like to connect those electronically, we can typically connect to them and you can send this data over electronically as well. Now with your refraction down here at the bottom, you have the ability to load in refractive data to help you with speed. So if I wanna load in what I just said the patient is wearing today, I'm going to grab that wearing RX and then adjust uh, to, to fine tune it for this year. This just really helps you with not having to toggle back and forth between screens and have all of your refractive measurements available to be imported into the system. Then you go right into the visual acuities tab. If everything looks good, you can use the nice little set as 2020 buttons that we have in blue or use a drop down and make your selection. You can leave any notes for yourself or to be included on the printout and then save. And very quickly, we just can click on the final RX button to finalize our visit for today. Notate a usage, uh, make any recommendations we would like down here at the bottom or specific lens and specific frame recommendations. Once we have that finalized, we can do a few different things here on the iPad. Uh, we can send this prescription right over to the practice management system, and you'll see that our little send RX button is orange. When I tap on that, it will send it, send it and also turn that button green uh, to let us know that it has been sent. We can go ahead and print this right from the iPad using our air printer. Um, or we can copy forward and create multiple final RXs um, on top of each other for different usages. Real similar concept with our contact lens um, prescriptions, but I do wanna note that if you're interested, you can completely prescribe a manufacturer. So maybe I want uh, to prescribe an ultra six pack for this patient. Only the available power ranges in this modality uh, will populate for us. Then while we're in the same screen, we can go right into the visual acuities and assessment. We can set everything to 2020 if we want or use the drop downs to notate other values. Same concept for our assessment. We can mark everything as normal or use the drop downs. List an over refraction if there is one and then our contact lens recommended wearing regimen. And save. Next, we'll hop into the ocular exam room. We're going to do a regular eye exam today. Um, and in this screen, we would notate uh, the overall health eval um, for this patient. If everything looks good, we're going to list our cup to disc ratio and we're going to go into the next screen. Um, but if there is problems, you'll notate them here. Next, it's time to list our um, diagnoses and our procedures and plans associated with them. You'll see that a list comes to the, to the left-hand side of the screen, just like we saw a list populate when we were adding in a chief complaint. Um, the system will remember what you see the most in your practice and what you document the most in your practice. Which is, this is all for speed purposes. Uh, so those most commonly used diagnoses will come to the top of the list so that you can quickly select through them um, and document in a, in a fast way. Um, I'm going to do a couple of things for you today. I want to show you uh, the, the manual process, but then I also want to show you how we can even intensely expedite this using protocols. So if I was going to do a routine um, diagnosis today of myopia, I would tap on myopia. 
And I would tap on the eyes that it's applicable to. So I'm going to do the right and the left to code it as OU. And then you'll find, again, that popular plans, anything I've really ever used with myopia is going to come to the top of the list. And I can choose what I want to add to my documentation today. So I'll probably counsel, do a refraction, and see the patient here in a year. When I tap on the counseling for myopia, you'll notice that the counseling blocks, the verbiage that I've used in the past, that I've approved in the past, is going to come to the top of the list. I can customize it for this patient. Um, but if you like the verbiage, you've used it before, um, and you want to use it again, it's here for you in a library. We can list our refraction. And then we want to see the patient again in a year, which is already pre-selected for us, for a routine protocol and order fundus photos. And you can see down here at the bottom, just in about four selections, I've made a really nice uh, formal documentation with just about four selections. Um, that was fast, but I'll, I'll tell you that um, we can even make it faster than, than that. Right, so if you wanted to save this entire documentation for the future, um, in, in, my, this, in this particular case, myopia OU with counseling or refraction and a follow-up, you can save this entire documentation to use again and bring it into the record for a patient in one click. And so down here at the very bottom of the screen, you're gonna see a save and create protocol button. You can save and create any protocol from any documentation uh, you would like uh, and use it again in the future. So if I wanna do that today for um, maybe a patient with allergic conjunctivitis, something medical, let's, let's do that so I can show you um, how to e-prescribe. Um, I've saved a list here of all of my most popular documentation uh, filtered by diagnosis, and I can use it again. So today, let's, for example purposes, we'll bring in allergic conjunctivitis with a, uh, a padded A prescription. So I'm going to apply that protocol. I've used it before, uh, and I want to use it again. Uh, we attach it here to the record, but I can also customize this for the patient. So the overall documentation is here, uh, but any area in which I have documentation, I can resume it and then customize for this particular patient. Like, I may want to resume this prescription and take a look at this again. So we've got padded A as the selected um, prescription, but if I wanted to see what else was available, um, you know, to, to prescribe or maybe other folks in our network, what they're prescribing, I can click on this grand rounds um, and get some industry data on other options um, that are available to be ordered. And then e-prescribe right here in the in the system. Once you've completed your items in the ocular exam room, you'll notice that the impressions and plans will auto-populate for you, and billing and coding will auto-populate auto as well. The only thing left to do is to send the fees over to the practice management system and finalize the visit. Most of our doctors, because of the nature of importing the data as you move along throughout the visit, um, are able to finalize visits right in the exam lane, which leaves a lot more time at the end of the day um, to not pour over charts. Well, this concludes the quick overview of Affinity EHR. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day.